welcome to an Everyday Canines video. In this episode on Running Contacts, we're looking at teaching loose turns off the dog walk. So these are the, si when I say simplest, they're the next progression from your straight line. So in a way, if your dog's already getting that nice, driving out nice to a straight line, I would suggest that you're already getting your dog to complete the dog walk and a jump before you're rewarding, then this should be a natural progression. It's not going to be as tough as some of these other turns. What we want from this turn is we want to be able to tell the dog you're turning. We want them to go down, complete the dog walk just as before, and they're probably not going to start their turn until roughly about here for that, that, that sort of distance. That's set at six meters. So it is pretty much where you're going to see it on a course. Obviously it could be actually set out at 10 meters. If you're in a country where your, your jumps might be tighter, which they're allowed to be tighter, then it's going to be a different scenario. But in the UK, that's the tightest we're going to be able to get. In a way, this is a quite straightforward turn. The biggest challenge with this really is just telling our dog they're turning and to take that jump rather than just heading on straight. So how are we going to teach this? First off, we've got the manners minders or treat and train out. Our dog knows to run to the treat and train. So we're going to have that out and we're going to use it as a target. And we're going to start without doing the full dog walk. Again, we're going to start low and we're going to make sure our dog has seen that the treat and train is there. Can you turn around, my lovely? Turn around. Ready, see it, ready, go. Okay, so she ran to that really simply. She has done these, obviously. The reason I've got it before the jump is so she can see it and it's obvious. And you can see she did a, she did a lovely contact and it was a lovely, nice curvy turn there. So once you're getting this nicely, all we're gonna do is move the treat train over the other side of the jump. Again, we're shaping that turn. We don't want it to be a tight turn generally, though of course they could be turning about themselves, but at this stage we want a soft turn. So we've got the tr treat and train there and we're gonna have dog halfway up. Ready, go. Now, did you see what she did? I rewarded it, but she did actually cut this corner a little bit. She came off like this because now she knows where that is. I'm gonna try it once more like that. Go. It's not bad, if I'm honest with you. I'm starting to get a teens a bit picky on that one, if I say, because she is still doing the correct running dog walk. Let's just see it one more time. Let's take her a bit higher up so we can really look at what she's doing. Okay, go. That's actually quite nice. She's hitting with all four feet, but what she's doing is she's turning slightly as she's going over. Now, can you see what I mean, that this is a turn because of the way she's turning? Notice I haven't put a cue in, go. Good girl. We just practice, practice the pavement. Now that was an even better running dog walk because she actually went, I don't need to turn right off. So that was a beautiful dog, running dog walk. So actually I thought at first I might have to alter that, but I'm not going to. If I did, the reason these jumps are here is I can actually put a jump here to stop them turning off too soon. But I actually think she's going to, she's doing that really nicely. One more go. Go. Now, I don't want this to be on a go cue because go is going to mean straight. So that's the last time I'm going to use my go cue. I'm going to tell her she's got to turn. Okay, Swift. So when I'm doing straight running contacts, when my dog is here, I say go, that's a straight, hang on. But because I want a turn, I'm instead, I'm going to be now saying turn. Turn, turn, turn. Good girl. So now I'm introducing that new cue. She knows the behavior. Swift. So now I'm just introducing that new cue to say this is what this cue means. Ready? Turn, turn, turn. And you can see, I mean, this is early days. This is early days. You're going to have to play with this a lot to proof it. Ultimately, we'd be throwing in a toy rather than using this. We're going to follow all the stages we did with the straights, working it back, doing longer distances and work on this. And once you're getting successful, good girl, contacts on that turn, then you might think about, right, well, I'll see if I can have a straight and then a turn. And you just see how you go with that. See how they go with their discriminations. And that's just something you're going to have to keep playing on and work on. 
Discrimination is a whole nother video. This is just getting on the early stages of the turns. Now, bear in mind, doing right hand side, obviously there's obviously a left hand side as well. I would do those in separate sessions. So maybe one day I do this turn, the next day I do that turn. But that's how we're gonna start introducing these basic turns and encouraging the dog to run down nicely and go over the jump and get there. Okay, so that's your loose turns, your soft turns. I hope you've enjoyed this Everyday Canines video, and if you have, you might like to subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the bell icon and you'll get notifications of new videos. And you can also uh, find us on Facebook and Instagram. And I hope to see you all again very, very soon.